How's it coming? Back up. Hey, Deke. <sighs> hey. Uh, what's this? Oh, ask him. Well, truck's as big as a tank, right? Uh-huh. I figured. Might as well turn her into one. Holy shit. Mm. <laughs> uh, is this ready? Well, let's see, Deke. Time to fill her up. I know where to find some fertilizer. I'll radio when I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, a couple months ago, we were up by Crazy Willie's, just scavenging, you know. I thought maybe the place wasn't picked over. You here to buy something? I think if we can find all the fertilizer we need over at the Iron Butte Ranch. Iron Butte Ranch? Yeah, it's not like Jesse and his rippers are gonna need it anymore. I mean, this place used to be a golf resort, yeah? They've got a maintenance area, you know, lawnmowers and the... Uh... Fertilizer. Goddamn right. Yeah, I'm gonna head over there right now. When it's clear, I'm gonna radio you and Ricky to bring the truck in. You got it, brother. All right, boost her out. Yeah, yeah, Ricky, I'm here. I just wanted to say thank you for coming back to help us. I'm just sorry I was too late. You weren't. We'll stop him. Schizo, we're gonna stop him, right? Yeah, we're gonna stop him. I wanted to say I'm so sorry about your... about Sarah. I can't imagine what you must be going through losing someone t twice like that. Hey, I haven't lost her yet. We're building a really big bomb, remember? Well, we're... Glad to have you back. Lost Lake needs you. Hey, Ricky. Uh, it wasn't his fault. You know, uh, Iron Mike. I mean, he was. He was only trying to do the right thing. I know. Ricky, help. Murderers and thieves, the lot of you. How many people you killed today, huh? Tell him I'll be right there. Captain, didn't take you long to lie your way into a promotion. This army crap is all bullshit and you know. But bro, you gotta listen to me. I'm not your bro, Schizo. Fair enough. I just wanted you to know. Look, when Cory busted you out, the colonel, he went crazy. Thought she was in on it. He lost his goddamn mind. He went after Lieutenant Whitaker. He was gonna kill her, Deke. Deke! Yeah, I'm listening. But I stopped him, Deke. I did. I told him that all that poison shit she's cooking up, maybe we use it to kill the freaks, but maybe we don't. Maybe there's an enemy camp. Maybe they got one water supply. Maybe dumping a gallon of hemlock into that, maybe that solves a lot of problems. Anyway, the Colonel, he likes that idea. So he puts me in charge of the Ark. Wants me to keep it safe. She reports to me now, Deke. To me. 
What do you want, Schizo? Bro, I just wanted to warn you. They're coming. I can't stop them. They're coming, and this time, this time the Colonel's bringing the whole damn house. Uh, well, let him. We're not going anywhere. And when he comes, this time, we'll be ready for him. Hey, Deke. Captain, the Colonel's waiting. I'll be there, goddammit! Now get out! Hey, Deke. Look, I gotta go. But, uh, I'll tell Lieutenant Whitaker that you send your best wishes. Captain Sarkozy signing off. Shit! No, that's a horde. It's a horde. I'm gonna have to clear this before Ricky can get in, or she's gonna pull them all down on us. Hey, Boozer, uh, tell Ricky it's uh, it's gonna be a while because there's a horde feeding ground right in our way. Horde? You want me and Ricky to head out there? Come and help? No, no, no! I've already learned the hard way. It's better to take them on alone. That way we don't pull them down on each other. Besides, I mean, Ricky says that, uh, you're head of security now, right? So don't you gotta, I don't know, like, stick around camp, polish your badge, order people around, shit like that. Yeah, right. I forgot to ask Mike for a badge. I'm... Anyway, now that he's gone, you know, maybe they'll vote someone else in. Let me go back to pulling weeds. <laughs> Not likely. Wouldn't be no skin off of my nose. Well, let me know when you're ready. Ricky wants to get the shit on the Let's try it.
my friend, is all of them. Jesus. Uh, booze man, are you there? It's clear. You can uh, have Ricky bring the truck over. Copy that. Hey, Deke. We got a surprise for you, brother. Oh, oh great. That's great. Can't wait. Deacon out. What the hell is that? A little gift from Ricky. Still can't ride a bike, but I can shift the hell out of these gears. Wow. I uh, pull it over there. All right. Okay. Oh, God. That ought to be enough. All right. What's next? <sighs> Creosote, how I'll ready you with you when I'm ready. Where the hell are we gonna get a hundred gallons of creosote? You don't wanna know. I need to talk to you. Ricky, what's wrong? Uh, militia. What? Where? Boozer thinks they might be planning another attack, so he asked me to send you to take a look. Goddamn militia. Yeah, I got this. <sighs> Thank God. I'll let Boozer know. Ricky out. Copeland, yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm uh, guessing you uh, got another job for me. Okay, I'll swing by. Deacon out.
no, no. Oh, sniper. Doesn't look too bad. Done. Open up. Come on, get him inside. What happened? Got hit again. Squatters off the highway. We've got to get some men together, go after them. Don't look at me, it ain't my problem. They've got Manny. You sent Manny on a supply run. I just run the camp, D. I don't tell folks how to live their lives. Go to hell, Cope! So, uh, a couple of Cope, I found his bike. I'm gonna see if I can track him down. My men said they'd set up an ambush on the Sanium. Yeah, I already found it. Deacon out.
each other out. Gifter, come on out now. I wasn't gonna let him kill you. Besides, who the hell is around here knows how to rebuild a carburetor? Just back up. Nice and slow. Don't make a sound. Jesus, Dick! You did it! Oh, Jesus. It's clear. I've been camping too long. Never saw nothing like that before. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, get the hell out of here. You don't gotta twist my arm on that one. Yeah, so what the hell happened? What were you doing out here? I don't know. I hadn't been on a run in months. It felt like maybe I wasn't, I don't know, doing my share. You know? A lot of assholes with guns out here, Manny. Not many know how to fix the shit that they ride around on. Yeah, yeah, that's what Cope said. Yeah, for once I agree with the son of a bitch. So what do you think? Why's it gotta be this way? Be what way? Everyone out here trying to kill everyone else. Ah, Manny. You know how many folks were locked up in prisons before the shit went down? I mean, here in the States... Huh, no idea. Two and a half million. You count the ones that are out on parole and probation, that's almost seven million, so... One in 35 was someone who didn't give a shit about the law. And those are just the ones that got caught. Shit. So the question isn't, why is it like this now? The question is... Why wasn't it always like this? Guess I'll be sticking to the camp from now on. That's probably a good idea. You good from here? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Deke? I owe you, man. I'd be dead right now if you hadn't... Manny. Nose down. Nose down. They feed you. Now get the hell out of here. Hey, what's up with you? What? Deacons? Hey, oh, what is I haven't this? seen you around much lately. Thought maybe you'd gone up north without me. Jesse, no, we haven't gone up north. Boozer's, um... Boozer can't ride anymore. He's, uh, well, we're, we're, we're down at Lost Lake Camp, and I don't think that we're going anywhere. Jesus, Deke. Look, I'm sorry I didn't know. I mean, I 
I heard rumors coming in from the shit, you know, that Boozer was hurt or whatever, but it, I didn't know it was that bad. It was. Look, uh, the offer stands. When we, if we head north to Smith Rock, you're coming with us. You got that? Yeah, Deke. Sure. Whatever you say, man. Yippers. Hey, uh, Deke. Hey, how have you been? Hey, Damon. That'll last you. Anything else I can get for you? Now that's what I'm talking about. One upgrade coming up. Come by any time. Stop by any time. Found him. Thank God and country. He's alive? He's a little banged up, but he'll live. I'm guessing a few drifters are trying to find out about your camp, how many men you have, how many guns. I hope he told them. We have all the damn guns we need, and we mean to keep them. Fitz don't got no more to say about that now, do they? No, I guess they don't. Man, he gets back. Tell him to keep his nose down. St. John out. Goddamn militia. Oh, God, I'm gonna kill every one of you bastards. The entire squad. Ah, you gotta be careful. Sons of bitches. Come on, let's do this. I'm
Melissa, come on!
so innocent. That's the last of them. All right, brother, you're killing me. Where are you getting the creosote? Ah, you just like driving that dump truck around. You're goddamn right I do. All right, um, I'm heading to the old sawmill. They got a couple of storage tanks there. They should have all the creosote we need. The old sawmill. Last I checked, there was a horde there. Big goddamn horde. Uh, yeah. I'm, uh, pretty sure I knew that. Wait, you still got a death wish? I mean, even after finding your old lady, Deke, we're gonna get her back. Who's man? No. No, I don't. Look, I can handle this. Just be ready. I'll radio when it's clear to... <laughs> Who's man? No, no, I don't. Look, I can handle this. Just be ready. I'll radio when it's clear to bring your rig in. Deacon out. Deke? Yeah, Ricky. Boozer just told me you're heading to the old sawmill. Uh, yeah, and Boozer has a big mouth. He is head of security. He has to tell me. You remember when I took you to the sawmill, right? You remember me showing you the horde that lives there? Uh, yeah, I remember. The really big horde that lives, sleeps, and eats there. Uh, yeah, like I said, I remember. Uh, look, Ricky, when I was with the militia, they, uh, we... <laughs> we created a sort of souped-up Molotov. A souped-up Molotov? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like napalm. Anyway, trust me, I got this. We need you, Deke. <laughs> okay, what were you saying? We need you, Deke, alive. Ricky, just... Ricky, just be fine. You don't gotta worry about me no more, okay? I know what I'm doing. Ricky? Yeah, I'm, uh, right in some things. And, in this case, some big goddamn Molotovs, but, you know, you get the idea. And, in, in this case, some big goddamn... Deke? Yeah, Ricky. Boozer just told me you're heading to the old sawmill. Uh, yeah, Boozer has a big mouth. He is head of security. He has to tell me. You remember when I took you to the sawmill, right? You remember me showing you the horde that lives there? Oh, uh, yeah, I remember. The really big horde that lives, sleeps, and eats there. 
Uh, yeah, like I said, I remember. Uh, look, Ricky, when I was with the militia, they, uh, we, we created a sort of souped up Molotov. A souped up Molotov? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like napalm. Anyway, trust me, I got this. We need you, Deke, alive. Ricky, just, I'll be fine. You don't gotta worry about me no more, okay? I know what I'm doing. Ricky? Yeah. So, uh, I'm uh, couple months just ago, lighting some like candles. Three. Okay. And in, in this case, some big goddamn Molotovs, but you know, you get the idea. Yeah, okay. Deacon out. Hey, Deacon. Buzz, how's a camper's life? I got you covered. Sure, all right. See you around. Deek, deek, deek. <laughs> What's been keeping you away so long? Blair, how's it going? Um, okay. Okay. Now that's an upgrade. Yeah, good. Uh, good choice. <laughs> yep. Okay. Hey, Deke, um, you be careful out there. <laughs>